I'm Jack from Teacher Geek, and today we're gonna build a wiggle bot. Your wiggle bot kit includes the following supplies a set of four gears, two markers, a motor with leads, a battery holder, two pieces of steel building wire, eight dowels of assorted lengths, two perpendicular blocks. If you got the Super Wigglebot kit, you got even more parts. Two extra pieces of building wire, two extra dowels, an extra perpendicular block, two nuts, two screws, two connector strips, and a whole plate. In addition to these, you need to supply some items. Tape, a battery, and whatever recycling bin materials you have laying around. You're going to use these to make even more creative Wigglebot bodies. First thing we're going to do is get our motor spinning. To do that, we're going to install the AA battery in the battery holder so that the flat part of the battery goes on the side with the spring. Next, we're going to hook the motor up to the battery holder. The motor has these two leads on the end with alligator clips. See the alligator clips? Oh, can I make it eat my head? Womp womp. And take the alligator clips and install one on each terminal of the battery. Hear that? It's spinning. One way to make Wigglebots move is to make them vibrate. Now that we have our motor spinning, can we get it to vibrate? Try adding some different components to it. When I put a gear in the middle hole, I feel it's spinning a little bit, but it's not really shaking around. It's not wiggling yet. But if I try the hole on the side, it shakes around. You don't have to use a gear on your motor. Try other components too, like a connector strip. Depending on what hole you put it in, it'll vibrate at different speeds. You can make it go fast. or slow. Now that we know how to make it vibrate, let's try making a body for it. Your motor mount has a hole in it that lets you put dowels in it. To put a dowel in, push it in the hole and wiggle it a bit. You can also tap dowels into the hole. Now that our motor is mounted on the dowel, let's give it a base. We can attach it to a gear. You can wiggle dowels into gears the same way you wiggle them into the motor mount. Now I'll add a component to the top to make it vibrate and hook up my battery. Look at it go! With a perpendicular block, you can get your dowels to form a right angle so that your gear rotates vertically instead of horizontally. Push or wiggle a dowel into one of the two top holes and then wiggle a dowel into the side hole. Now my dowels form a right angle, so I can rebuild this with the motor going vertically. Oh no, my wires are getting in the way. I can either wrap them around the dowel or tape them to something to keep them out of the way. Why aren't you jumping? Last time you, oh, because the battery's too heavy. Look at it go, this one jumps. Don't stop there, keep tinkering with your design. What else can you make spin on it? What else could you use for a base? You could use a hole plate. Or connector strips. Or those recycling bin materials. You can also use steel wire to give your Wigglebot legs. Just bend it into a U and go through some of the outside holes of a gear. Wrap them around back down and it's got legs. I'm going to give mine four legs so it's nice and stable. Now that you've seen a few ways to make your Wigglebot wiggle, it's time to make your own unique design. 
<laughs> Add some decorations to give your Wigglebot more personality. Or make your Wigglebot do sick burnouts. Or not. Do burnouts. Feeling competitive? Try to make the fastest Wigglebot possible. Want to get artsy? Try making a wiggle pen. Or make a scribble bot to do art for you. It's a little abstract for my taste, but hey. There are so many ways to wiggle. What will yours look like? Until next time, happy making.